हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू एक्सल्चर अकेडमी मैं हूँ आपके डॉक्टर रूबी सिंह और आज हम करने जा रहे हैं लेक्चर 11 दैट इज प्रोटोप्लास आइसोलेशन तो अब तक हमने जो भी कल्चर पढ़े हैं टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर पढ़े हैं देखे हैं कैसे हैं क्या है नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू स्टडी प्रोटोप्लास कल्चर वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एक्जैक्टली द प्रोटोप्लास आर बींग आइसोलेटेड ठीक है तो बिफोर वी मूव ऑन टू दी अनदर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कल्चर लेट्स टॉक अबाउट प्रोटोप्लास आइसोलेशन एंड गाइज प्लीज स्टे ट्यून टू दिस चैनल बिकॉज आई एम मेकिंग ऑल द लेक्चर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू योर आई टी जाम एंड गैट बी सिलेबस ओके सो या सो प्रोटोप्लास वॉट आर प्रोटोप्लास so protoplasts are the plant cells with the plasma membrane but without the cell wall and now they are used in the genetic manipulation now why we actually do this thing why we remove the cell wall because see you know that in the plant cell if suppose let's say that these are the plant cell the fusion of these two won't be possible if the cell wall is present right so in order to have the genetic manipulation or the fusion of these two the nucleus of these one cell and the second cell we need to remove the cell wall and that's why it is important to carry out the cell wall removal now since it is plant cell and the cell wall are made up of cellulose cellulose so what are the enzymes in use of course yes you are correct it is cellulases and we also have hemi cellulases also so if we if suppose there is a presence of pectin in the cell wall so then we are using pectinase correct okay yeah so they can be cultivated in liquid as well as the solid media so this is the advantage uh, in the plant tissue culture that both kind of solid and the liquid suspension media can be used in order to culture the cells now protoplast can be isolated from any part of the plants so let it be roots shoot leaves fruits tuber endosperm pollen cells anything it can be anything so there are two methods are there mechanical as well as the enzymatic method guys if i am going little fast it's just because of the habit you can just go back and listen again okay and please make sure you make the notes also so your handwritten notes are the only one which is going to help you in your uh, exam preparation okay so there are two methods so in this we are going to talk about these two different methods uh, required in order to remove the cell wall from the plant cell to get the protoplast so let's talk about first mechanical method so mechanical method in this it is kept in kept in a suitable it is kept in a suitable plasmolyticum that is lysis of the plasma membrane and it is cut with a fine knife okay so here the cells were cut only through the cell wall and it will release the intact protoplast so that is the plant cell having the plasma membrane only now the problem with the mechanical procedure is that it is going to give the low yield because many a times what happens the cell uh, disrupts and uh, okay so that's why we get the low yield of the protoplast and it could be utilized for only highly evacuated and non meristematic cells okay now why non meristematic because meristematic cells are the young fast producing cells so they won't have the thick cell wall so that's why they will be disrupted very easily now this is method is laborious and as well as the tds okay so here the flow chart has been given so let's talk over here so you have got the plant tissue you have gone for the plasmolysis okay so we know that plasmolysis what we are doing over here we are actually changing the solid concentration so that the cell will shrink uh, leaving the cell wall and finally you can make a cut okay so you know that you have got the cell is there now when you put into a osmotic solution what will happen this is going to get shrink so when it gets shrink what happens it leaves the cell wall and then with the help of the fine knife you can actually cut the cell wall releasing the intact protoplast outside okay now you and observe under the microscope now why this is uh, required okay yeah later then you cut with the knife and then release the protoplast now this microscopic observation will also help in uh, selecting the good plant cells okay finally the protoplasm will be collected so now that's why it becomes tedious because you know it, the, first of all the cells are very small and you have to observe under the microscope uh, so it takes lots of focus now let's talk about the enzymatic method so this is very simple as already mentioned that these uh, celluloses are present so we use the enzymes like microenzymes cellulases hemicellulases if you have got the pectin so you will use pectinase etc so by this method you can actually achieve protoplast population in the large number and there won't be any damage to the cells 
ओके द ऑस्मोटिक श्रिंकेज ऑफ प्रोटोप्लास इज मच लेस बिकॉज वी आर नॉट चेंजिंग दी वी आर नॉट चेंजिंग द ऑस्मोटिक कंडीशन ऑफ द प्लांट इन विच वी आर एक्चुअली एडिंग दी एंजाइम्स नाउ हाउ एक्जैक्टली इट इज डन यूजिंग द एंजाइमेटिक मेथड so in the enzymatic method first what we do is of course the sterilization and the removal of the epidermis is there this is required in order to keep the aseptic conditions okay this is always required we don't want any bacterial contamination otherwise there is no point in containing the plant tissue culture then you can filter through the nylon mesh you can add your macro enzyme so macro enzyme is going to be the combination of the different uh, pectinases and the enzymes Are required in order to remove the or disrupt the cell wall. Now, whatever the cells you get, you are going to add two percent cellulase. It is cellulase the enzyme. Keep it for one and a half hour incubation. Okay. Then you add cellulases and pectinases again. Keep it for two three hours at this particular temperature, and what you get at the end is the protoplast. Yeah. So enzymatic method of protoplast isolation again there are two types. sequential and mix enzyme so from the word itself from the title itself it's very clear what exactly is happening in this right so you have got the sequential enzymatic so it is having the two steps so first you're going to have the tissues incubated with pectinases and when you get the single cell so what happens you have got the cluster of the cells this is going to give you single single cells like this now this will be followed by cellular treatment in order to get the single release proto protoplast okay now in the case of mixed enzymatic method it involves simultaneous separation of cells as well as degradation of the cell wall so what is happening in this we are going to use a mixture of both pectinases and cellulases together or at the same time that is simultaneously so this is also important guys please remember yeah so here you see in the enzymatic method so we have got the two methods are there right so in this you can see that sequential method is there and mix is there so let's talk about mix method so whatever you get the plasmolyzed cells you are going to add the mixture of pectinase and cellulase enzyme kept for the incubation during which incubation what is happening these enzymes are acting on the cell walls of the plant cells releasing the protoplasm so all the protoplasm will be isolated um, and in the case of sequential first you are going to have the plasmolysis add the pectinase keep it for the some time really get the isolated cells if suppose you're not getting the uh, release protoplasm then please add cellulase also and then what you get is the isolated protoplasm now this isolated protoplasms which are intact which are in good conditions are selected which is observed under the microscope for the selection and are then later used for the genetic manipulation okay yeah so this is about the protoplast isolation in brief so whether you can use the leaves pollen any portion of the plant you can use so you have got the two methods are there mechanical and enzymatic so use occasionally what are the advantage over here unknown effects of enzymes on protoplast can be eliminated the only disadvantage is that cells may be broken and yes it is laborious okay because you need to focus a lot it is going to take so much of time now enzymatic generally use uh, what are the advantages here large quantity protoplast can be obtained cells are not broken and there is no chance of osmotic shrinkage okay the only disadvantage with using the enzymatic method is that the unknown effects of enzymes on protoplast uh, will go undetected okay so this is all about the isolation of protoplast guys thank you for listening if any doubts are there please comment me in the comment section you can ask me any doubts any time uh if suppose you want a, a fast answer then you can ping me in the telegram channel by the name excelsior academy or you can also mail me at excelsior academy 1228@gmail.com so guys stay tuned to excelsior academy in order to complete your syllabus of your uh, id jam and gadby preparation so all the best guys